here's something I've never done before. I'm going to convert this, this generator to propane. Let's figure this out. So about 10 years ago, the wife and I owned a campground here in Colorado. There's a KOA in Colorado. So uh, we had a lot of people coming and going. We had some regulars. And they had a fifth wheel. It was a dual axle, triple slide, Montana toy hauler. If you're into fifth wheels, that all makes sense to you. If you're not, it had a big room in the back. Um, he would come up, him and his wife would come up. They spent half the year South America, the other half up here touring America. And uh, his, his health was failing. So he walks into the office one day and says, hey, I need to sell my fifth wheel. Well, I said, well, how much? Well, anyway, the wife and I, the wife and I bought it from him. Had it for, well, up until last year. We used the heck out of it. I mean, we took it everywhere. Um, but in the back of it, in that big room in the back that you put a motorcycle or an ATV was this. This is a, it's a generator. It's a seven horsepower, um, 3,500 watt max generator, gasoline, Harbor Freight. There is nothing special about this guy. The only thing special about this guy is that it runs on gasoline. And if you're watching this video, chances are pretty good. You watch uh, videos on guys trying to get old cars running. One of the biggest problems they have is the carburetor. So this is uh, pretty much only used in emergencies. Um, we don't lose power much out here, and when we do, this guy's got to work. So um, having gasoline on hand in the dead of winter, it goes old. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've decided to convert it to propane. I'm going to get rid of all the gasoline. I'm even going to get rid of the tank. I'm getting rid of all that stuff and uh, just converting it to propane. Um, I don't want to have to deal with it. Now I may change my mind halfway through and leave the gasoline stuff on it and go dual fuel. Haven't decided yet. What I have decided is I decided I was going to buy the cheapest propane conversion kit that I could find on Amazon. I think it was $35. So I'm going to attempt to get that on there now. Having said that, being a, a, an RVer, I've got a lot of propane stuff laying around. Matter, I got a 100 pound propane bottle right there. I probably have half a dozen propane bottles. Um, and keeping one of those topped off and ready to go, it doesn't go bad. I mean, if, if I kept it 10 years, I would feel comfortable that, well, that 100 pounder. Uh, I filled it right before I left the campground in 2012. And I was using it yesterday to heat the shop. So um, I have high confidence that, that the propane just is fairly stable. So with that being said, um, the reviews on this kit that I bought says it doesn't come with instructions. So this is a truly, let's figure this out. With all that said, let's get to work. Okay, packaging, it's like e-commerce packaging. There's not, there's no, there's nothing on it. Packing materials is basically trash. And here it is, and true to the reviews, there are absolutely no instructions. So let's see what we got here. Okay, it appears that you take the carburetor off and you put this assembly on. Looks like gasoline's gonna come in here and you put propane in here and it should just fire right up. I mean, really, how hard could it be? All right, so but anyway, before we get too far into taking stuff off, I wanna make sure that this, make sure that this generator works. It worked last time I used it. Let's fire it up and see if it still works. Okay, before I get carried away with tearing this whole thing apart, let's make sure it still works, okay? Ah, 
got the ignition turned on. I have the choke on. Let's see if it'll fire up. Oh, is the fuel on? I can't tell. It says it's on, so let's find out. Now I'm starting to second guess why I should even touch this thing because it was literally one and a half pulls and it fired right up. But I just know like it could set for years and the gas is in it's going to go bad and the carburetor is going to be dirty. So let's move forward. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this around, get all this air stuff off of it. I'm going to air out the shop real quick before you get too far into it and uh, then we'll get to work. speechless um, it took me longer to get it up on my my workbench here than it did to, to change that uh, carburetor adapter thing on there uh, the real proof is going to be does it light off now um, I turned the fuel on it's draining down into there the carburetor is not leaking let's see if it'll start The choke's a little tight, the detents and stuff are a little tight, I may put some lube on that, but... Maybe the reason there's no instructions in it is if you can't do that, you shouldn't be working on these. So uh, anyway, okay, so it's running on gas. Not that big a deal, it's like swapping out a carb. The next step, will can I get it to run on propane? Uh, it's got a barbed fitting, which I'm not used to working with barbed fittings when it comes to propane. I'm used to, you know, wrenching stuff down. I may have to go get a hose, you know, right after I told you I got all this propane stuff. Um, and I got, a, I got, I, I got bottles. So, uh, what I need to do is it's got a, uh, pressure regulator on it. Um, so I got to figure out how it all steps down because your bottles at one pressure and typically what I use, they've got pressure regulators there. Then this has a pressure regulator going into that. 
Let me do, do a little homework on that before I just start pumping raw propane into this thing and trying to light it off. Okay? Uh, I'll be right back. And before I get too far into uh, getting the propane hooked up, um, I want to defuel this carburetor. So I'm going to unhook it, still gas everywhere, and then um, run it till it's dry. The fuel's all drained out of it. Let's go ahead and shut the shut the valve off and we'll hook this guy back up and get this out of here. Then what I want to do is I want to start it up and burn off all the fuel in here. So once I get it running, I'm just going to open up the shop doors and step outside. Choke. That didn't take long, especially when it, I cranked the choke up on it. Okay, choke's off of it now. Uh, fuel's off, fuel's empty. Let's get the propane hooked up to it, see if that works. Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to point out on this, and I'm probably sitting right in the way here, but uh, you can, it's tri-fuel. So you got your, your gasoline, we covered that. Then it's got LPG here, and I'm assuming that this is the arrow, and then down here is CNG for compressed natural gas. Um, we'll leave it right there. Uh, and there's, there's no switch or no valving or anything that you have to do to switch from gasoline to propane. What you're supposed to do is shut your fuel off, and this here is an actual drain that you can drain the, um, the gasoline from the bottom of the fuel bowl. While I'm here, I'm just gonna see if I can get this open. See what runs out. Sure enough, there's there's some gasoline there. Uh, let me grab something. Throw it under here and see how much there is. There's no open flames right now but I do have a hot muffler, and that's it. Okay, so in theory, uh, once we get the, uh, once we get the propane hooked up, it should just be ready to go. So, and I think I've got all the, the bits and pieces for that. So let's see if I can put it together. Okay, this is what we've got. I've got a, a typical propane 20 pound bottle here. Now, the pressure at this bottle here is anywhere from 100 to 200. Depends on the contents of the bottle, it depends on the temperature, it depends on, depends on, well, pretty much those things. This is the regulator, the first pressure regulator, and it, the output of it is between 10 and 20 psi. So that's what you have running up into here. Now, this here is kind of like um, a bleed valve, and it's windy today, so I can't hear it, but when you press this, it's supposed to squirt a little bit of um, propane into the carburetor. Uh, I've probably pushed it too many times now, but let's see if it'll start. too good to be true because there's a bunch of air in this line so must have been uh, just a little residual gasoline before we try to fire this up I want to go over a few things that I've learned in the last few days while waiting for parts one 
This is not a pressure regulator, okay? I thought it was, it's not. That is nothing more than an on-off switch. The, as the air flows through here, when you're trying to start it, it senses it and it uh, opens up a valve inside that allows, you, that allows the propane to go through. That's all it is, it is not a pressure regulator. This, think of this as a primer bulb. When you first go to start it up, you push that a couple of times and it gets the air out of the, the hose and you can hear it squirt a little propane in there. This is a selector switch and it pulls out and it goes like that. That's for natural gas, that's for propane. We're gonna leave it right there, okay? Uh, there's no adjustment in there. I looked down in here, I took this off and I looked down in here. When it's in natural gas, you can. there are some adjustments. There's a screw in here you can adjust. But when it's in propane, it's just a straight shot. How do you adjust it then? Well, this is where I had my problems. This is an adjustable pressure regulator and I'll put the, all the information in, in the description down below. The pressure regulator that I had before didn't work, which is probably why it was on my shelf. So I went out and I got me an adjustable one. And what I also did is, you can see it right there, I put an arrow there, and then when you open this up to get it where you, where you want it, that right there should be the run position, okay? Now, if, when you go to start it, give it a little bit more, get it running, and then back it back down. So now we can go ahead and try to start her up. Okay, now that I've told you uh, how all these devices work and how they work together, let's see if we can get it running. I'm gonna open the valve up the, on the adjustable regulator to the arrows, take it a little bit more, turn the ignition on the generator, hit the little uh, purge uh, valve there. There you go, and to shut it off, you just turn your gas off. Uh, is it perfect? No, <laughs> it didn't work the first time right out of the box, but there's no instructions. Hopefully between this video and uh, the parts list that I'll give you down below, you can, it'll be a lot easier for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Other than that, thanks for watching.